I've seen it all now the bejazzling keys which reminds me I've got to get the hair removed from my bikini line Welcome back to a very, very warm summer's day here on Mersey Island. Welcome back to Paul Holland Details channel. Now, behind me is a Fiat 500, a Fiat 500 Pop, um, and it's slightly pink. Yeah, this is owned by Kaz. This is actually a subscriber's car. Um, Kaz got in touch with me some time ago and said, can you do my car? I'd love to see it featured on the channel. I'm not gonna say no to that, am I? So we've got a brand review tied in with this video. This is the Alien Magic Car Care Company. Now, this stuff, as you saw previously in the beginning of the video, uh, we've got the first one, which is Bling. This is their Luxury Maintenance No Wax Shampoo. Now, I used this the other day, uh, a little sneaky go with this, and it's very, very slippery. It's, I've nicknamed it Super Glide because it's so easy to use. It's got everything really you'd expect from a decent shampoo. It's got gliding action, it's got foaming action, and cleaning action. So this is not me being, you know, oh, it's great, it's great, it's great, before I've even done it. This is a genuine comment. I've used this, and it's good stuff. The rest of it, haven't touched. Don't know what it's going to be like, so we're going to get on with this exterior valet very, very shortly, but I'll just quickly talk about these products. So the first one we've got is a shampoo, obviously. And then we've got this other one here, which is in no particular order. Um, let's get this one first, shall we? This is Guard. This is for your alloy wheels. So once you've cleaned your alloy wheels and dried them, you spray this stuff on. It actually makes them pop um, and also gives them that nano protection. The uh, water behavior you'd expect, beading and the protection of build up of brake dust. So that's the alloy wheel sealant, Guard. That's going to be going on the Fiat. Uh, once again, no particular order. Oh, as if by magic. Tire Pro, that's their tire dressing or tire sealant. That's going to be used on that, the Barbie Mobile. Uh, this one, quite interesting. It's basically, I think it's IPA, it's um, Prep Pro, that one. Prep Pro or Panel Wipe or IPA is used for basically stripping the paint back. You normally use it in association with paint correction. If you polish a vehicle, you need to strip back the oils off the paint, and then you get a better adhesion from the wax or the coatings you're going to be used, and then you get a true reading or visual reading uh, by taking any fillers that, that are in the products or oil or residue. So it's basically residue control. There's that one. Uh, this one, Express. So this is basically a glaze, but it's got a built-in LSP. Uh, I'm going to be using that. On top of that, there's a few. Uh, I'm sweating already, Jesus. Uh, Argon, this is a Nano Kyanuba spray wax. So it's a bit like a QD, but in between, I suppose. That's going on. This one, Wrath, which is a fallout remover. We're gonna help bleed the paint and do the alloy wheels. I'll do some, some panels so you can see actually the fallout on the, the pink mobile. We are gonna get through these. <laughs> Pristine. A lot of products here. Pristine, which is a anti-static hard surface cleaner sort of protector. So you'd use this on the interior to stop the build-up of the uh, fluff and dust and human skin. Which is basically what we, what it is. Where we shed human skin. I know that's disgusting, but that's what it, all your car is made up of. In the interior is the interior products of the car, how it was built, and then the rest of you. So we're going to be using that. Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there on the home straight. Uh, this one, Resurrection, which is, from what I can understand, it's kind of like a paint cleanser, 
That's a paint cleanser. Yes, it is a paint cleanser. Sorry, I've got I've so many products here. I'm, I'm struggling to keep track. That's a paint cleanser. And this one, which is in here, which I've purchased, Mr. Crikey, purchased something, really. That's the APC Citrus Power sample in there. Not we, obviously. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> got this lot. Jesus. Buffing cloths. Z here. Two of them. Some more buffing cloths, my general purpose ones. These, I love these. These are the giant M&Ms as I call them. These are the applicator um, pads for applying coatings, waxes, that sort of thing. And then we have a small drying towel, I believe. I think that's a wheel one. 600 GSM, I think these are. And a very large drying towel. So just a few products to get through today and not much time to do it in. So I'm gonna quit talking pull my finger out and get some sort of a pre-wash on this. We're not actually using foam today. Uh, the guys do obviously make uh, snow foam. Uh, separately to the video, I have got some APC in my tank here. I've got a pre-sprayer, a Spear and Jackson one, which I recently purchased from eBay. If you've seen the, the bits on um, my Instagram account, you'll, you'll know what that is. So I'm gonna pre-spray the car and get cleaning. Oh yeah, nearly forgot. I've got two of these as well. Hogs hair brushes, woohoo! So here we have Barbie's car, in for an exterior valet and an interior valet. I will tell you, this is a separate APC used in a pump sprayer. Uh, we do use the Citrus Power in the review, do not worry. But of course it's only 50ml sample in a bottle. I didn't switch wheel brushes at this point because these wheels are quite small. That's an EZ mini brush. So you can scrub, scrub the tire initially and then finish off with a wheel mitt or a cheap mitt like these, these Chinese wash mitts. And then a blast down. So really pre-washing, getting all those nooks and crannies, using the new brushes. These are the hog's hair brushes from Alien Magic. Just enough stiffness ooh, uh, to get in the tight crevices. So many innu innuendos in these videos. Can't help myself. This was filthy. What I didn't actually capture on camera was the amount of crap that flew out and hit me in the face. Right, fallout time with a wraith. Spray on the wheel and then spray on the brush. Now just even with an action camera you can see it bleeding out. In pretty good nick these wheels. Apart from that bit there. Whoops. Somebody's got a bit too close in uh, Tesco's car park. And then a rinse down. Now, back end of the vehicle, do much the same as the front. If you're gonna use a bug remover or APC, in this case using citrus power. Yes, it was in the sun, unavoidable, not a good idea, as the product started to dry quite quickly. But it does start to eat away at the bugs or soften them, just to give you a helping hand. Got to be honest, I think I could have done with it a bit stronger. You can see from this next clip, pretty much zero protection on this car, as you'd expect. Apparently there's not many of these cars about, not in this colour, quite a rare colour. Unusual colour. So now when it comes to the foamy stages, the bling shampoo, a couple of good healthy glugs in a bucket. Uh, I believe these are 18.9 litres, my buckets. Five gallons to you and me. It is lathery, this shampoo, very, very lathery. And it glides like you would not believe. So that's the shampoo.
really use two mitts for this. Um, I don't show it in a video, I went out to that line there. Use your secondary mitt. And that is fallout on the rear and on the petrol cap. Don't worry about the order these clips are coming. Drying stage, not the fallout obviously. This is separate. Not too bad these drying towels. Gotta to remember this is a blimmin' hot day. With the help of a warm air blaster. Get those tires dry. This is panel prep or prep pro. To you and me, it's basically an alcohol wipe down IPA. This just helps with adhesion from your glossy stuff like waxes, sealants, glazes, etc. And also, if you've missed anything, of course, I never miss anything. <coughs> So just work your way around the panels. Don't be tempted to do the whole car because it'll just evaporate. Just work your way around it. Nice cloths, by the way. So once that was done, it was time for this. This is a paint cleanser, Resurrection. Now, this will make the paint nice and smooth. Obviously, you can clay bar it and go through the claying stage and then you'll have to machine polish it but we're doing everything by hand today um, this will pick off any con remaining contaminants I should say and sort of smooth the paint out giving it a nice key uh, but this isn't the bit I was really interested in it's the next bit so it's already looking better It's this bit that's coming up, the chrome work, or well, the bling, shall I say. Of course, Barbie loves a bit of bling. The chrome inserts, as well as the door handles, seem to come up a treat with this stuff. Micro abrasives in it. Unlike the glaze, which has no abrasives, I'm led to believe. They really bring up the uh, the chrome quite nicely on this car. And the pink starts looking a bit more pink. Cross off, I was naked then for a minute. Now this is their glaze. This is the uh, Carnuba infused glaze. Now what I will say to you is be careful with the amount of area you cover. Um, it depends on the color of your car pink it's quite difficult to see where you've been um, and I had a few issues looking at it after it had actually hazed over and actually getting it off but it was like under bright conditions I could probably have done with sunglasses to be fair polarized sunglasses while I was doing it but I was trying to get around this car as quick as possible because I got a customer waiting and it was about 30 odd degrees or it felt like it That's what you're left with after the glaze. Obviously you've got fillers in here which will hide some of the swells, Very, it's temporary. You can top it with wax or in our case, quick detailer or a spray wax. So this is the spray wax, Argon. I'm told six to 10 weeks of added protection with this. No, I didn't do any bead shots. In too much of a hurry for that. And also I was cooking. Very easy to apply, is no streaks with this. And it does give a really nice finish. And of course, if you've missed anything with the glaze, it will take that off as well. When it comes to the wheels, this is Guard. This is the Alley Wheel Protector. 
quick spritz over. You can put this on with a microfiber um, or I use the uh, applicator pad. It's probably quicker with a microfiber. And then just buff off the excess. And it leaves a fairly glossy finish, to be fair. It brings the wheels up quite nice and also protects them. And of course, we won't forget the tyres. The tyre dressing. It's nice and glossy. I mean, it does give it a nice darkening effect. Yeah, we're not going to forget the inside. No hoovering shots, unfortunately. This is pristine. This is the uh, anti-static hard surface cleaner. I did enjoy this product. I really did. It's nice, easy to apply, no fuss. And of course, you're going to keep the dust down or the human skin, should I say, which is basically what dust is. And don't forget your dials. Yes, that is not a donkey, that is a unicorn. Give her a quick buff up. Don't forget your vents either. That's the other brush. Uh, obviously kept the dry one, just to get the uh, vents rid of dust. And boom, there she is. Okay, we've finally finished the Fiat 500, the Fiat 500 Pop, the rather pink one. 29 degrees it was when I did that car. This is now the Monday and it's 31 degrees today. God help us. Anyway, let's go through these products one by one, as quick as we can, so I don't bore the living daylights out, you poor souls. Uh, right, this is Citrus Power. This is the uh, sample from Alien Magic Car Care. Uh, Citrus Power, you can use this for pre-washing, you can use it in interiors degreasing, you name it, highly versatile. It came up very well around the filler cap. That was really good. Around the back of the car, struggled a little bit with the bugs and on the front of the car. Might be due to the fact it was mixed up a little bit too weak, maybe a bit too much water in the bottle. Just over 500 mil in this one, this one liter bottle. Um, I'd like to try it again in stronger dilution rates, but these are baked on bugs. So it's a tough old job. So, okay maybe stronger next time. So that was the first product. Uh, we'll go through the decontamination stages. Yes, I used the tire remover, a separate one uh, to the video because it's a customer's car. They can't send down absolutely everything. So quick disclaimer, separate APC for under the arches and a tire remover. It comes down to the stinky stuff, the fallout remover. It bled the wheels, it bled the bodywork. It does the job, it smells. They're producing a new one that I think is gonna smell of cherries and it is coming to the channel. So not bad, the old fallout remover. Yeah, they all stink. Uh, it's quite a thick one, this as well. Interesting. Next up, we had this stuff. Uh, <laughs> this has to be standout product. This is the what I call Super Glide. This is the luxury shampoo bling when it came down to two bucket wash very very frothy very lathery as you've seen on the video loads of lubricants one of my favorite shampoos at the moment it's up there with a few others i'm not going to name who they are but i've got like a top five good stuff this bling ph neutral as well nice to use uh, so that was the shampoo stages we dried the car using this one of their drying towels this was okay it wasn't too bad it was a little bit smeary on the glass but Panel temperatures are up there. I mean, they were warm, so you have to take that into account anyway. But it's come across relatively unscathed. There's a smaller one here for the wheels. I believe this is the wheels. And we've got a range of buffing cloths as well. These are okay. They performed relatively well. And I do like these applicator pads. Got a nice feel to these. Be careful with using, uh, if you get them damp, they can be a little bit fly at your hands. That might just be me. Panel prep, this is basically IPA. 
Uh, this was after we'd done all the, the drying and everything else, we'd give it a, a, a quick spritz over this on every panel. It's quite good if you've missed certain areas. Me, never. With your tar remover, it will remove tar as well. Yes, it's available in bulk sizes. Yes, you can get it cheaper, we know that, but this is aimed at the boutique market, the occasional Valata. It's already made up for you. It's good stuff, just don't drink it. Uh, and then when it came to the shiny stuff, Express, this was the glaze. A little bit tricky to take off this one. Could have been the panel temperatures, the way it was positioned. Yes, I need a gazebo, I know that. But it does add a nice LSP. It's got a nice gloss to it because it's got Carnuba in it. It's a standalone product. You can just use this and not put anything else on it if you don't want to. Or you can go belt and braces and top it up with some of this other stuff, which is this. Oh, before we even got to that, as if by magic, what a wally. I use this. This is resurrection. This is the paint cleanser. So do your paint cleanser first, rewind, and then do that. Should edit that out. This is the resurrection uh, paint cleanser. Very, very good on chrome, especially on these Fiat's because the chrome is terrible on them and it brought it back to life. It's really good stuff. It's a paint cleanser. Paint, chrome, you name it. Brilliant stuff. Obviously not interiors. Don't be stupid. That's a sample of resurrection. I enjoyed that one. All right, spin forward. This is the Nano Carnuba uh, spray wax. It's more of a, it's in between a quick detailer and spray wax. There's no residue, no streaking. Six to 10 weeks, I'm told by Rob. Didn't get any beading shots because obviously it's a customer's car. I haven't got time to maff, you know, muck about and faff around with all that sort of stuff. It does bead like crazy. Check out the website for more details about that. I did enjoy using this and it did give it a really nice gloss and I did miss a few bits because it's pink. And I struggled getting some of that glaze off in certain areas just because the color of the blooming thing, or Barbie Mobile, and that got rid of it. So finger marks, residue and that sort of thing. It's good stuff. Uh, I think that's it for that top shelf. Uh, and then we've got the wheels. This is wheel guard, wheel sealant. Sprayable, once you've done all your decontamination stages uh, and dried them, use this stuff. It's very good. Um, it stops the build up of uh, brake dust. It's easy to use, you buff it off, apply it with either one of these or just spray it on and buff it off with a microfiber. There's a couple of ways you can do it. And then the last one here on the exterior products was the tire. This is the Tire Pro. Nice deep glossy finish and it produced a, a really good darkening effect. Not everyone likes the glossy look. You can get the more factory look. Obviously, if you layer this, you'll get it even glossier. I'm told it's zero sling and it smells nice as well. So that was a really nice thing to use. Buff off the excess on your wheel as well. Interior, this was a, a really a good standout product, this one, because it was a, it's interesting, it's pristine. It's an anti-static surface cleaner, hard surface cleaner. So door cards, dashboard, binnacle, around the back of the steering, all, all around that area, on your switch gear, spray this, and it stops the build up of human skin, basically. And um, fluff, and just general airborne contaminants, dust, in other words. And it smells nice as well. Doesn't leave any residue. Spray it on, buff it off, easy peasy. So that was that one. Um, and really these, <laughs> there's loads I can say about these. These are the hog's hair brushes. These are lovely. I think we only talk about prices once and it's these because I think they're 14 99 There is a 60 mil and a 50 mil one. Hog's hair brushes, getting all the nooks and crannies, especially around the boot shuts, like where your struts go, your gas struts, all that muck gets in that horrible crevice. Spray some APC in there, agitate it with one of these. Brilliant, really easy to use. Nice brushes, got a good quality feel to them. I can see those being a, a bit of a winner. I have been, have been told so far they're flying off the shelf like hotcakes. So get on the website. So overall, some really interesting products. I'm not just saying it because they send them down for free. We've been criticized about this. Numerous YouTubers get criticized for this. Um, they're British born, I think they're Havisham way. Uh, which is, I think, Milton Keynes, uh, if I'm memory serves me correctly. And it, it's just, they've got a nice quality feel to the, the products. It's not just the labeling and everything else, the whole package. Yes, you're gonna pay a little bit more. I mean, they're competitive, but you might pay a little bit more than what you'd expect, but you are getting some good quality products and they have a vast range, they have a pro range as well. Get yourself on the website. If you're into your coatings, check them out. Website below as always. So thanks to Rob and Pete for putting this, putting this package together. While they were doing this, they sent this down, because I've had these a while, they sent down another load of stuff. Where is it? It's here somewhere, here it is. 
This is a leather care pack. Um, they sent this lot down, a brush. This is for your leather trim. Uh, the luxury uh, sample, whatever that is, that must be the cream for the seats. And then another one there, Leather Pro. This is a hyperphobic leather coat, top coat. And then the cleaner. Somewhere along the line, they will come up on the channel, I promise you. Um, big thank you to Alien Magic Car Care for a huge donation for the, um, up here somewhere, the wax stop video. Thanks to everyone who's watched it and also donated. You are something else, you guys. It really did pull on my heartstrings when all the donations started coming through. And it was quite difficult to film that intro. I'm not going to lie. I told a few people this, and I'll tell you guys, I broke down. It was hard, really hard, because I know the guy. It's, it's a really difficult subject. But thank you to everyone who's donated. Keep subscribing. Put your thumbs up. Interact like crazy with the channel. We'll see you on the next one, guys. I'm going to go in and jump in a cold bath. Cheers. See you later.